Hey girls, it's Jessie and I'm your Pure Romance Consultant this week. I just want to take a few minutes to take my party, my demo, which is usually 45 minutes or so, and condense that into a smaller uh, video for you tomorrow during our party night. But tonight, I just want to spotlight toy care because with our shorter video, we might not get to it. Uh, so first, I want you to know that 10 to 15% of my sales are actually toys. Now toys aren't re meant to replace anybody, but they certainly could. Not a problem, our secret. 95% um, of my clients say that they've been cleaning their toys with soap and water, specifically antibacterial soap, which contains alcohol. So it's not the best for your toys because what happens is it causes uh, little micro tears and creates little crevices where bacteria can get in and just breed and then you end up placing that into your body what we have is our cleansing mist now the cleansing mist is ph balance it won't dry your toys out and doesn't contain any alcohol um, and it also doubles as a mic as a, excuse me, a makeup brush cleaner. So that's pretty awesome. You get a whole bonus with it. I don't wear a lot of makeup, but if I did, I wouldn't mind dipping it in there. You don't want to clean your toys with anything else. Um, so many of my clients also say that they use a box, a dresser drawer between the mattresses. They slide their toys um, in a closet and we don't want to do that because whatever you are putting your toy in or wherever you're sticking it, what you're doing is getting that lint, dirt, dust, uh, glitter, sparkles, whatever on that toy. And then when you go to use it, because you know, in the middle of the night, when you're feeling a little frisky and you're all alone and you want to, you know, put on a little buzz action, you're not jumping out of bed to clean it, right? Come on. You know, I'm right. You're not jumping out to clean it. Therefore, you're taking whatever it was laying in and you're placing it in your body, which is not a good idea. Therefore, a toy tote is absolutely necessary for you. Now, these toy totes are aligned with what is called BioShield 75. So this creates an antimicrobial environment and it's pretty, not just a pretty pink bag. They also come in gray but it is pretty and these are for the toys to go in only one at a time though um, it's lint free dirt free dust free cat and dog hair free and the bioshield 75 it stays coated and lined for up to 50 machine washes so once let's say you wash it 50 times you don't have to wash it with every use but once you wash it that many times it just becomes a pretty little pink bag that you can put anything in. Um, and then once you put your toy in there, you can hide it, stick it, place it between the mattress, do whatever you want with that. <clears throat> so the toy tote and the cleaner are definite necessities. And like I said, only one per tote because what happens is toys are generally silicone. So when you put the silicone and the silicone together of two toys or more, they have this weird chemical reaction where they begin to melt each other. Therefore, you are actually damaging your toy. Um, and if you purchase a toy during tomorrow's sale, which you should because every girl needs a she toy, a he toy, and a we toy so that y'all can experience things together. If you have any questions or need suggestions, ask me. I'm your girl. Um, so if you do purchase a toy, I will be asking you, did you get the cleaner? No, you don't have to. It's absolutely your choice. But the cleaner is the best idea in order to make sure that you're keeping yourself safe, your toy safe, and you're preserving the life and longevity of the items that you've purchased. Okay, so once again, cleaner and the tote. And I can't wait until tomorrow to spend the evening with you during our party. Bye.